In this video lecture, I am going to find the remainder and constant of this question. So here, when x power 4 plus 1 is divis divided by x minus 1. So let's see the answer. So writing here, x minus 1 and x power 4 and plus 1. So you need to check this first term. So here, x power 4 and here, this terms. So x and here x power 4. So what exactly we can multiply with x? So it come x power 4. So obviously here we need to multiply x power 3. So here x power 3 that I am going to multiply. So here this become so x power 3 and multiplying with x minus 1. So it come x power 4 and here x power 3. So right there x power 4 minus x power 3. Minus 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 plus. So this cancel here x power 3 come and plus 1. After that here x and this place x power 3. So if I multiply here x power 2 so it become x power 3. So here this time we need to multiply x power 2. So this here x power 3. So x minus 1 multiply with x power 2. So this here x power 3 x square. So here writing x square. Now need to subtract minus 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 plus here this cancel. This here x square plus 1. Now this term here, this is x minus x and here x square. So obviously we need to multiply with x. So this become x square. Now here x minus 1 into x. So here this is now x square minus x. So this term we need to multiply with x. So this here x square minus x minus 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 plus this cancel and this term you get x plus 1. Now this term here x and uh, this place here x is there. So obviously we need to multiply with 1. So then that come x. So here x minus 1 multiplying with 1. So this come x minus 1. So here multiplying with 1. So here this come x minus 1. So this minus 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 plus. This cancel. 1 plus 1. This become 2. So this is our cosine. And this is our remainder. So one time going to repeat. Here you need to take first terms and here this first term. So here write this first term and uh, this terms. So here x and x power 4. So if I multiply x power 3 then that can become x power 4. So here x minus 1 obviously x power 3 multiply then that come x power 4 minus x power 3. After that here next that come x power 3. So here this x if I multiply x square then that come x power 3. So like that that continue on. And this is the way we can do the we can find the cosine and remainder of this question. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.